Hello, in this video we're going to talk about our brand new grade-based typing courses. Brand new this school year, we have grade-specific typing courses for grades 1 through 5 and they are standards aligned. Each course begins with a typing review and then students will begin practicing their typing skills with grade-specific content. The word per minute goal for each course is geared towards each grade level. Grade 1 is completion-based and does not have a minimum speed requirement, but for grades 2 through 5, the word per minute goal at the end of the course is 5 times the grade level. That means for grade 2, by the time students get to the end of the course, they should be typing at least 10 words per minute. Now we will take a quick look inside each of the new courses. First, we will start with grade 1. Grade 1 contains over 700 lessons and starts with a review of Jungle Junior. Students will learn to locate letters on the keyboard. They'll also practice typing sight words, word families, and simple sentences. This course will also help improve alphabet recognition, dexterity, and familiarity with technology. These lessons are all completion-based, so they do not have a minimum speed requirement. Now let's take a look at some of these lessons. Next, we will take a look at grade two. Grades two through five all start with a review of Typing Jungle. Grade two contains over 800 lessons and students will become familiar with individual letter keys, the shift key, number row keys, and basic punctuation marks. Students will type language arts, math, science, and social studies content from grade two standards such as vowel teams, plural nouns, money, geometry, community, historical figures, materials, and earth science. By the end of the course, students should be able to type at least 10 words per minute. Now let's take a look at some of the lessons for grade two. Now we will move on to grade three. Grade three contains over 1,000 lessons. Students will become familiar with individual letter keys, the shift key, and basic punctuation marks. Students will type language arts, math, science, and social studies content from grade three standards, such as affixes, multisyllable words, multiplication, quadrilaterals, geography, government, climate, and weather. By the end of the course, students should be able to type at least 15 words per minute. Let's take a look at some of the lessons. Next, we will move on to grade four. Grade four contains over 800 lessons. Students will become familiar with individual letter keys, the shift key, punctuation marks, the number keys, and some special characters. Students will type language arts, math, science, and social studies content from grade four standards, such as metaphors, idioms, proverbs, fractions, decimals, 50 states, U.S. history, biology, energy, and light. By the end of the course, students should be able to type at least 20 words per minute. Let's take a look at some grade four lessons.
finally, we will take a look at grade five. Grade five contains over 900 lessons. Students will become familiar with individual letter keys, the shift key, punctuation marks, as well as the number row keys and symbols. Students will type language arts, math, science, and social studies content from grade five standards, such as prepositions, conjunctions, rounding, place value, U.S. government, state capitals, astronomy, and matter. By the end of the course, students should be able to type at least 25 words per minute. Now let's take a look at some grade five lessons. If you are a teacher using a school edition account and want to assign these new courses to your classes, you would first log into your teacher account and then you can go to courses, scroll down, find the course that you would like to assign to a class, click on it and then click assign to class. You can select the classes that you would like to assign it to and then click assign to class. And now when I go to those classes and click on one of them, go to assignments, I can see that it's been assigned right here.